It would help if the damn camera wouldn't fall over. Alright, what's up everybody? This is your tactical combat instructor here. Unfortunately, North Carolina can't make up its mind whether it wants to be cold or hot. Because it went from below freezing to short weather. And as you can see, all my beautiful snow has pretty much melted, which sucks. But um, I'm just out here with one of my old airsoft guns. Because I can't shoot a real gun because we live in city limits. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to be planking some targets. Um, a little bitty black shovel right there. there. And then that rusty piece of metal, that's pretty much what I'm going to be shooting at. Just with the old spring airsoft gun. I'm bored, I ain't got nothing else to do. But I'm gonna be standing right behind the camera. Hopefully y'all can hear it when it hits. Yeah. I'm, I'm aiming at the rusty piece of metal one. Now I'm aiming at the little shovel. Miss. Hit. Miss. Right over the damn top. Hit. That one kind of ricocheted. Yeah, out of ammo. Now begins the grueling process of shaking. Not too grueling. Still shooting at the. Now I'm going for the big target. Hit. Miss. Hit. Hit. Okay, I got, let me count them, one, two, three, six rounds, so see if we can hit the smaller target. Well, I hit most of them, and if y'all were wondering, this airsoft gun I did paint, it, it, the original color was like that ugly ass brown that's right there, that was underneath of the sights, um, but I painted it with tan and flat black, and I love the way it looks like this, it looked like shit the other way it was. And of course, I painted the orange tip so it looks like an actual gun. So, you know, why not? Life is full of surprises. Why not get shot playing with a toy gun, you know? But, um, got bored. Y'all like seeing me shoot airsoft guns. I still got a few of them. I still got my two pistols that I used to use that were CO2 pistols. And I still got my, um, sniper rifle that I used to use. If y'all want to see me do some videos on those, just drop it in the comment section. Um, I used to play airsoft a lot. I used to have a team and we used to do 
team death matches with each other all the time. Uh, it was fun, but then I realized that shooting real guns is even more fun. Having a team with that, although you can't do real te team death matches with each other, but um, just doing some good old target practice with your team. Pretty much, it gets you out there, gets you sociable, and it's all around fun. So, if you're into airsoft or anything like that, or actual shooting gun, get a team together, man. It's better when you got buddies to do this kind of stuff with, because it's just more enjoyable. Um, but airsofting is how I pretty much got started in a tactical type community. Like, I love the way that the guns looked with the forward grips and the sights and all that. And, like, I was already big into it because I wanted to go into the military. But, um, pretty much just airsoft is a good way for a young person anywhere from the age of, I'd say, possibly 10 to 15. Nah, nah, not 15. Maybe anywhere from, like, 10 to 13 possibly 14 depend depending on your maturity level start off with airsoft because um that can teach you how to handle a weapon and everything like that because you can't be swinging this thing around i mean like yeah it is plastic and it does shoot plastic bbs but you can actually still hurt somebody with this um but try out airsoft if you're too young to handle an actual weapon or to start up an actual shooting team so you guys get out there, get out there with your friends, enjoy it, and have all around fun until you can reach the age of actually having your own real firearm shooting team. And once you do that, it's going to be a lot more fun. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's going to be a lot more fun. Still makes a bigger bang than a click, click, pack, pack. So, this has been your tactical combat instructor, Bear Wolf, with the Rapid Response Tactical Squad, and now the new commander of the Peace CTU, which is the Punisher Counterterrorism Unit. And I will we'll leave y'all with that. Thank you.